Hey guys, it's Melmi here with another Xcode tutorial. Uh, and in this Xcode tutorial, I'm going to be going over gesture recognizers. Um, and this has been requested by numerous people, and one of them is Jan Marti. Um, and there's their YouTube channel there. Um, and they also help me with the graphics for my graphics uh, series that I've done. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be going over um, gesture recognizers and how we can use them. So I'm going to create a new Xcode project here. I'm going to single view based application, um, double click. Um, I'm not going to be using storyboarding and I'm not going to be using ARC. Um, I'm just going to call it just jewels. Um, if like that, save it to the, well, save it wherever you want. Um, I'm going to expand it here and here we are. Now, what we can do uh, in Xcode 4.2, is go into the interface builder thing here um, and we can scroll down you can see here we have we have three well one two three four five six we have six things um, and these are all gesture recognizers so you here see see here there's a tap gesture recognizer there is a pinch gesture recognizer rotation swipe pan and long press um, and all we need to do if we want it is just drag it out and here we have a tap gesture recognizer. We can go to the attributes here, select how many taps we want, uh, select how many touches we want. Um, so taps is the amount that they tap. So for example, if I want them to double tap on the screen, I have it at two. And touches is the amount of fingers. Um, so you can see here I can set 50 fingers if I wanted, but no one has 50 fingers. So we can have like two fingers and two taps, for example. Um, let's say I don't want that, I just delete it. Um, we can have a pinch gesture recognizer here. You can see there's the scale, so that's how kind of big the pinch is going to be. So if it's going to be like from the entire screen, um, like pinch from the both corners of the screen, or just pinch from half the point of the screen, or whatever. Um, and so there's lots of them here. But seeing as some people don't have Xcode 4.2, I'm going to be teaching how to do it programmatically. And what we're going to have, we're going to have a swipe gesture recognizer. And we're going to have a single tap gesture recognizer and a double tap gesture recognizer. So that's what we're going to do. We don't need into uh, we don't need any outlets here. We can just go straight into the .m. However, if you were using the interface builder, you would need an outlet here to connect to it. But apart from that, um, let's go straight into the VD load, um, and we're just going to randomly set up our gesture recognizers. So I'm going to set up all three of ours, and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I've written quite a lot of code here. But uh, I'm going to go through it with you, don't worry. Um, so first off, to declare a gesture recognizer you need to work out which one you want. And in our case, we want a tap gesture recognizer. So for the first one here, you can see I have my tap gesture recognizer. I It's just UI tap and then gesture recognizer. I've named it tap2 because this is going to be the one that requires a double tap. Um, and then we give it some memory, so alloc, your tap gesture recognizer alloc, so we initiate the object, um, well we initiate it here and we give it the target self and the selector double tap. Now the selector is basically what method it's going to go to when it's being completed, so when they actually double tap, what method do you want me to go to? And as you can see down here I have all my methods, so there's single tap, double tap, swipe down and swipe up, and it just logs in the console which one was tapped. Um, so as you can see here, I've also set the delegate to self. Now that's one thing we need to do. If you see here, if we go into the dot H, I have added the UI gesture recognizer delegate. Um, so make sure you don't forget that. Um, and let's go back here. So you set the delegate to self, so you can use the delegate methods if needed. If you don't need the delegate methods, then don't set the delegate. Um, then we set the number of taps required, and that is two in our case, because it's double tap. You can also set the amount of fingers required. So if you want to do that, you just have tap two, set number of touches, and then I can have one for in this case just one finger. But that's the amount of fingers you need. Um, and then I add it to the view. So you go self.view add gesture recognizer tap two. And then we release it here for memory sake because uh, we don't need it anymore because it's added to the view. The view has now got the object. Um, so that's that one. Now the reason we did tap the double tap before we did single tap is because single tap um, is set up in the exact same way 
as you know, we set the delegate, we set the number of taps. However, we have a new line here that says requires gesture recognizer to fail. And that basically says, okay, um, I'm, I'm single tap, but I'll only work if they don't double tap. So as you can see here, we say it requires gesture recognizer to fail tap two. So tap two is the gesture recognizer. And that means it got to tap twice. Now, if they don't tap twice, i.e. fails, then they tap once because it failed. And that's what tap one says. So that's a thing we can use if we want double tap or triple tap. But make sure you put the higher tap first. So if I want a triple tap, I'm going to have to put that before the double tap and before the single tap. Um, and then we add it to the view and release. So that's the tap gesture recognizer. Now onto the swipe gesture recognizer. It's the same thing. Instead of UI tap, it's now UI swipe gesture recognizer. We alloc and initiate it like so with the different methods we want. We set the delegate. And now, as you can see here, we set something different. Instead of setting the number of taps, we set the direction. And that direction is UI swipe gesture recognizer direction down. You can also select up, which is done down here with the up gesture recognizer here. And you can also select left and right. So you can see left and right, but I'm going to keep that as down. Um, this one requires tap two to fail. Oops, requires tap two to fail. And we add it to the view and release. And this is the same for the swipe up. Apart from the fact that we have direction up here instead of direction down, we add it to the view and we release. So that's as simple as that, guys. If you want a different one, so you can have UI rotate gesture recognizer like that. Um, there's UI pinch gesture recognizer, I think. Oh, it won't auto complete. Um, one second. UI pinch gesture recognizer. I think there's UI, I don't know what else there is. Um, UI long press gesture recognizer. So you can see there's quite a lot of gesture recognizers you can play with, and they all have different functions like this one. So now you can only test these on a device, only on a device. So I'm just going to build on my device here. And I'm going to show you in the log. Oops, see there's my pinch ones. Um, you can see here only in the log will you be able to see what's happening, but I'll show you anyway. So first off, we're going to try off our single tap. So I'm just going to double tap here. I mean, single tap, sorry. And you can see there you go, I tapped once. Now we're going to go with the double tap. You see I tap twice, now with a swipe down and swipe up. So I can swipe down, 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 up, 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 double tap, 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 double tap. So there you go, guys. Um, there are our things working and they're logging here quite nicely. So now we can go off and do whatever we want with these gesture recognizers. So I hope this helped, guys. I hope this was useful for you. Um, again, don't forget about the other gesture recognizers. So there's pinch, there's long tap, there's rotate. So don't forget about them. Um, I hope this was useful for you. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Failcake Apps, where I'll be posting all the other uh, news that's going on. And uh, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my videos because they always help. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. So again, thanks for watching, and see you in my next tutorial.